So I saw Barnacle Bitch on Twitter earlier today and I thought their videos were funny as fuck. So I'm gonna react to some. I mean, guys, when I say I'm a single dad, <laughs> I'm a single dad. There's no way that I could go. I mean, guys, when I say I'm a. So, uh, just for the record, I just want to point out this man is literally my father's age. And if you saw those clips on Twitter, then yeah, just take that into context when you watch those. Weird, right? Single dad. <laughs> I'm a single dad. There's no way that I could go outside this house and work a full-time job. I'd be fired because I'd have to miss work eventually. You are able to get a regular job. Literally every parent ever could make that argument. Job. You won't apply for jobs. You don't apply for jobs. You, you have to apply. Don't make the excuse of I can't get a regular job because of you trolls. You don't apply for jobs. You don't try. And then you say, I'm not meant for that. I'm meant to make music and artwork. And anyone who tells you no, you say they're a troll. But that's not the case. The people who tell you that you are meant for the music and the artwork, they're the ones who are trolling you. They're the ones who laugh at your misfortune and know you will get nothing but more of it by continuing your delusions. You will perpetually fail. This guy is so sad. Like, the bandana just says it all. Until you realize these two facts. One, your fans are trolling you. Your fans are trolling you. They say your music is fire. It's not, it's a dumpster fire. Two, the people telling you to learn how to make music actually want to see you do better. They're not trolls. It's that simple. Accept it or keep lying to yourself. You're not a savant. You just can't be bothered to take the time to learn your craft skill if you can't do it alone. But the point here is that people who encourage him, you tell him that his guitar playing and his piano are good and stuff, they're just messing with him. They're just messing with him. People who tell him the truth, he gets mad and calls them crackheads and stuff. You've run off everybody in your life because you can't get along with people. Just stop calling people crackheads, God. You think that life and our interactions with each other are supposed to be like WWE Smackdown Raw promos. And maybe he just watched reruns of like WWF, WCW, Smackdown promos. And maybe that's all he ever watched as a baby in his crib. Day in and day out. Maybe they had a channel or something that that's all they got. And, uh, <laughs> and as a result, he grew up to think that that's how you're supposed to talk to people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to watch one more. That was funny as fuck. I am in such a horrible mood. I am feeling so crappy and so down on myself and so rage filled. Do you need a nap? I hate when she misses bingo because she always acts like this. But I thought what better way to make myself feel better than to get a fantastic makeover. So I'm going to be getting a makeover very soon, perhaps even this week. A can you imagine, <laughs> can you imagine this sitting in your chair as a hairdresser demanding more purple extensions? Horrifying. <laughs> Dramatic transformation to lift my mood, which is foul at the moment. What are you embarrassed by what a spectacle you made out of yourself? What, you can't take it, bitch? Don't get involved in my friendship. Don't try to ruin my friendship. Don't do this. You're going to get one warning. Okay? The hair is not the way it's supposed to be. It's not done. I'm not finished. It's not. She looks like one of those uh, test crash dummies. And then they just threw some Jeffree Star cosmetics and a fake wig on her. Not the final version. It will be in its final form on Friday. Oh, and I want to thank Yaba and Sam for being so nice um, about my extensions. They were saying that I look great. Uh, you do. You you look great. You look great. It's great. Um, knowing, of course, that I don't and that it's not finished, but that's okay. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> Fuck off, Yaba. Now, let me explain the color of... Yaba. 
fuck off, okay? Just fuck off. The hair. As you can see, I got more hair added. And I've got this whole ombre kind of thing going on. I'm I had the same um, hairstyle like 10 years ago. I'm going to give you it. I'm going to give it up. I'm going to tell you a secret. I got this red added specifically to troll Hussy. Oh, so wow. I thought, okay, I'm going to troll his ass by getting red hair extensions. So I got the red put in for Hussy. You're going to have to explain to me. I'm dumb. How is this trolling somebody? <laughs> It's long enough to headbang. <laughs> Hussy, I got that red just for you. Do you know how much money I spent at the salon to troll you with this red hair? A lot. So as you can see, I took out the red and I put in purple. I'm still regressing back to, to my heyday. Baby, what did you do? <laughs> It looks so bad. Oh my god. It looks terrible. When I was in full flower. Mrs. Parker, she asked, um... Mrs. Parker, I love you. You're the best. I don't remember the exact wording of it, but it was something like, uh, whether or not I enjoy being with a man who knows what a woman is. I love it. I love it. He knows... What I'm sorry, for clarification, are you saying that he knows what a woman is? I just, I have my doubts, that's all. A woman needs, he knows what women like, he knows what women want. As far as I'm concerned, pickles. <laughs> it is a match made in heaven. I love that for him, I love that for me, and I love it for all of us. I'm bored, I, I can't. That was amazing. So this was from Barnacle Bitch. Um, I asked them earlier today if I could react to this and they responded so quickly and said yes. And I said bet. And now we're here and I hope you enjoyed this video.